This is called a rameton. You do it first. Am I gonna be dead? No. Let's grow the tomatoes because tomatoes is the closest thing to weed. The ghost pepper. Yeah, I mean, if you put it in your eye, like you're done. So I'm here today with Elizabeth from Southwest Florida Produce and I heard you could grow weed out here. <laughs> <laughs> is that not true? That's what I hear. So let's go check out this farm. Let's do it. All right. greenhouse it got destroyed from Hurricane Ian. Uh, Hurricane Ian came right through here and actually our farm manager he lived on site and he experienced the whole thing. Oh wow. Yeah but he survived. Thank <laughs> the, goodness. The greenhouse this particular greenhouse did not survive but um, we're trying to get a grant with the state of Florida agricultural department for them to help us rebuild it. So the hot peppers love the heat and they really? love to be in the greenhouse. So everywhere else in the country um, did not have hot pepper you know hot peppers so right. we would ship these. And we got, you know, decent money, $20 a pound for them. And they're little peppers. Like we would do the Carolina Reapers. We would do the scorpions. We would do the scotch bonnet, the um, ghost peppers, and a couple other varieties, whatever would pop up. But we would put it in a that nice box so, and it'd okay. be a beautiful rainbow of peppers. I've been told that even if you touch the ghost pepper, it's like hot. Yeah, I mean, if you put it in your eye, like you're done. Yeah, you're dead. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's don't, not, don't put We had don't put to it work with like three pairs of gloves on. So now you're going to show me the other greenhouse and okay, I'm, you're going to be super embarrassed, but I'll tell you the only thing I know about hydroponics is from Disney. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, that's really dumb, Heidi. So show me <laughs> well, what. Well, this, this greenhouse has maintained the storm. It's perfect. We just took okay. off the tarp because okay. of the other hurricane that was going to come through. We didn't want it to do it again, but this is a full um, operating hydroponic system. What'd you have in here? Here we did tomatoes. We did a million oh. pounds of tomatoes in here and like 20 different varieties of tomatoes. And tomatoes are cool because they grow all the way up to the ceiling. So this is only 200 square feet of space, but it it was like two acres of uh, growing because we're growing vertical uh, but with our farm manager he said let's try to grow let's see how weed does in florida so let's grow the tomatoes because tomatoes is the closest thing to weed really in the in the, in the plant world sure so they thrived here so weed would do amazing here really and yeah. you said how long have you owned this for i it was from 2016 so I, we're coming up on our eighth year Okay, so you actually would have to be an owner for eight years before you're able to- The farm has to be established for eight years. Before you're able to grow weed. Yep. So since that has been established, the next buyer could- Yep, if they had a million dollar backing them and they got the certification, they could good make go. millions of dollars. We have a whole bunch of banana trees up here. Yep. We have lemon zest mango. That's what you usually don't see. We wanted to grow something different that we can engage our customers in. That was uh -huh. something cool to keep it interesting for them. So mangoes need to be like 10 years old to produce. Did you know that? Really? I you did not. You can't just plant, plant a tomato. I mean, a, plant a mango tomorrow and get mangoes next year. Can't do it. Really? Needs to be 10 years. So these are mature. We planted them when we first got here, seven years. Okay. Um, and then these are the Russell avocados on that side. So they're built up like this because they don't like to get uh, wet feet. They don't like to get their roots wet. So we build oh. them up. These are actually in a box underneath okay. so we can control their root system. And mm -hmm. those are the Russell avocados. So that's okay. a big avocado. It's like this big. And really? it has a neck like a horseshoe. And they make the best dressing with it. Right off of Vermont Road, close to Babcock. Yes, very close. Mm -hmm. Very close. Redneck Yacht Club. Yes. All the things. Yeah, the there's way. another huge farm. Lady, Mar Lady Moon Organics Farm is right there. And okay. they shipped all over the country. So that's a great resource. Um, we get a lot of produce from them too for our boxes. Okay. Uh, but we have we need to be in this location because we don't want um, you know mosquito repellent out here with right. those big trucks. We don't want chemtrails. We don't want other what farms. What are chemtrails? Like the airplanes that spray all oh, these yep. all these pesticides, and mm -hmm. we don't want to be next to a farm that's spraying you know harmful pesticides, and then it travels to us through wind and water. Right. So we want to be out here by ourselves so we can guarantee our customer that it's pesticide free. It's all natural. It's going to be you know better for you because that's what you're buying. You're mm -hmm. you're essentially wanting to replenish your body. You don't want to destroy it. Right. That's why you eat healthy things. So the way that we've made this farm 
is we have put all the banana trees here for the wind because we don't want so much wind oh, into the greenhouse. That's, that's the kind of ideology behind it. So these row crops, we've, we've done a lot. This is called an outside row crop on a drip line, meaning that the water comes underneath them to mm -hmm. water them. And uh, we fertilize them as well. But we do like 20,000 Florida sweet onions here. Um, <gasps> white, red, and yellow. And this is the big onion that has the shoot. Yeah. So you can eat the top. I think this is four acres. Okay. And um, so it's really good for the onions. We've done zucchini does great here in all really? varieties. Round zucchini, yellow zucchini, white zucchini, green zucchini, zucchini. Uh, tiger stripe zucchini. Tiger the white stripe. zucchini is really good because it's uh, more condensed, so it's better to fry. It's okay. like a harder uh, zucchini. Uh, but we have yellow squash in here too, yep. and greens do really good. Um, we have palmetto berries on the property, so this is what- What in the hell is a palmetto berry? Well, you would never know about it, but it's, um, it's, they pick them, it's a medicinal berry. So you collect them and they're used to make prostate cancer medicine. Really? Yeah, so that's a big thing here in August. Um, you can rent your land out to pickers and they'll come and they're up to like, it depends on the market, but it'll be up to like $2 to $10 a pound that you can get for them. And there's tons, they're just on all those palmettos over there. Okay, you have to try this. Okay. Will you like, try it? Like, like, wait, right now? Like in your mouth. Right? Yeah. Like, you do it first. You're scaring me. What? No, stop. What is that? Okay, so this is called a rambutan. Wait, it's really sparkly. Yes. Okay, can I smell it? I'm a smeller. Yes, yes. you can even lick it. Why lick I... it. You do it first. Am I going to be dead? No. Oh, you ate the seed. Oh, oops. <laughs> you were supposed to tell me. Thanks. Now I, am I dead now? No. It's like an almond. That's actually really, really... Yeah, and you eat around the seed. What is the little fur on the... It's just how they just look like Dr. Seuss trees. <gasps> they do, and I love Dr. Mm -hmm. Seuss. You eat four of these, and it's all the vitamin C you need for the whole entire day. You can cross off vitamin C off your What list. is this called? Rambuton. This is really good. Yeah. Like, actually. When is strawberry season? Um, December through um, June. When is the best time? Because I... I, I... March is the best time for strawberries. Because they're the, the sweetest. Festival? So, so if it depends. See, strawberries have a lot of varieties. What you want to get is the sweet Charlie variety, and that's the small little strawberries. They're going to be the sweetest, and they come out in the very okay, beginning. Okay, strawberry shortcake. That's all I care about. Yeah. So I would get it in the beginning. Okay. And then to get the sweet Charlie variety, all through the month of December, and then strawberries are still phenomenal. And then in March you get a ponderosa berry, and that's just a different variety of strawberry, different seed, and they're like a bigger, longer elongated strawberry yeah. and they're really really sweet okay but isn't aren't strawberries the only fruit that has their seeds on the outside i think so i'm the smartest person on the planet <laughs> yeah. i didn't even google that just so you know we have a really nice sweet carrot we have a cucumber, cucumber. and if you bit into that it's oh, i don't think i could do that no no i'll do it are you serious i eat tomatoes like an apple Oh my gosh. Okay, really that's, and, and then pepper. just a green pepper. Yeah, and that's like, this is just like a $5 box. This is $5 and just like an a easy $5 meal. box. I pay more just for these two items. Oh my gosh, oh, they're so good. Yeah, and these come from California because Cal we cannot grow grapes here at all. So we have to get them from California. It's the only place that's gonna grow them. But I order my truck on Monday, it gets here on Friday. How many different kinds of bananas are there? Oh, there's a ton of bananas, but the only banana that people want is a Cavendish banana, which is that this variety. Okay. Uh, like these banana trees that you'll see here, these are the okay. burrow bananas. Nobody wants them because they're super ugly and they're little and they're weird looking and yeah. they're chalky tasting unless you eat them at the perfectly right time, which the consumer can't figure it out. Right. So this is a Cavendish banana. This is the most popular banana um, in the world and they're cultivated only in Costa Rica, but it's what the American wants. This Yeah, so is... whenever people get the box like to their door, uh -huh. like this person ordered a veggie, a veggie box, so we would deliver this to their door and every week the boxes change. And, no way. Yeah, and we're a co-op, so the boxes are all based <gasps> on local foods, but then we also get stuff that doesn't grow here delivered to us on Friday. Okay. And then so, we deliver it to on. you. Okay, so broccoli. Yeah, we got is fresh, this, this is an acorn squash. Acorn squash. Mm -hmm. And then we got some fresh green beans. I love green beans. More beefsteak tomatoes, love broccoli. broccoli. And this is a really good, this is a Yukon gold potato. So okay, it's different than, oh yeah. it's different than the baker. So the baker's more, you want to put it on, put it on the grill, you know, put this in the microwave, put it with a right. steak or something. This is like the mashed potato king. 
like buttery. Really? Like you don't have to peel it. When you order a fruit and veggie box, mm -hmm. we always try to give them a little freebie. And sometimes we like to do a, um, a local business like Nino's Bakery right. for Farm Fresh Eggs. This week it's um, apples. So they get like um, three different varieties of apples for free. So they uh, these boxes are $23 each. Okay. And then you, but if you get the deal, you get it for $44. So you save $2 yep. and you get the free item of the week. Sometimes okay. it's, it's all, it can be a honey. It could just be anything that local businesses want to give us to support so we can all work together. Because this is what a co-op is. It's a community-based, driven community. Based, Everybody uh, works together. community. Oh and then and this, is, this is delivered right to their front door. Right to your front door on Friday. Yep, and you get receive a tracker so you know exactly where it's at, like a pizza. Really? And you follow it. The driver brings it to you. Um, you could swap anything you want. So I said I was going to ask If you don't next. like something in the box, you can swap it out for something that you do want. Okay. Um, and... It's all really, really fresh, so it's going to be different than the grocery store. Like in the grocery store, it has to sit there, you know, two or three weeks because they're a business and they have to move that product. Of course. Well, us, we only order from our farmers exactly what you ordered. Uh, so you have until Thursday at 12 o'clock to order. Then I put in my order with the farmers. They bring it to me Friday morning. It's a very quick turnaround. I mostly, I know about what people are going to order. Right, so, I can, so you have an idea. So I have an idea already. And then you get it to your house Friday. We don't have a store. We don't keep it. Uh, we don't try to preserve it or wax it or gas it or do any crazy yeah, things like that. Yeah, because that's one of the things I absolutely hate is how dirty the mm -hmm. fruit at the store is. Yeah, and people have been touching it, squeezing it, you know, kids run by and right, it's like it drops and then I get the bruised one and I'm always pissed about that. And this so. stuff's only like the packer, Jason, he does the vegetable mm -hmm. box, Jess does the fruit box, and mm -hmm. then our farm. It's like three hands that touch it. That's it. Oh my gosh. This is And so... you can plant this top. I can plant the top, but I'm gonna suck. Because no, it's not gonna be as pretty as yours. All right, I feel a little bit out of my element, especially while I'm out Elizabeth being here because she is so smart. But I am going to take the fruits from this video and this property and um, I'm gonna head home and I can't wait to see him eat this like I did. And surprisingly, like I said before, it's actually really good. And you would not believe how heavy this basket is. So here we go. So, oh my gosh. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Heidi Schrock, be part of the flock. Talk to you guys later. Oh, it is so heavy. And for the record, there's no weed in here, just so we're all clear. See you guys later.